we're on real quick. I thought I'd do another quick video as the draft is over. Um, Jackson Davis of Indiana, he goes 57th. Then I think he got traded. And then Chirpino went 17th from the Lakers. And I can tell you, if Indiana would have been without Davis, they wouldn't have won half the games they won. Whereas they could have won more than half their games without Chapino. So it's what you're looking for, I guess. But I just can't believe the all-time rebounder, all-time shot blocker at Indiana go to seventh. I just can't believe it. And I know he's not a shooter, but he's not a bad rebounder. I think he could have been stronger there, you know, even better. And he, but he was a pretty good shot blocker. He really came on. I mean, when it, when he tries to shot block, he can. Um, number two was the Alabama guy, um, Brandon. Uh, gosh, I can't think of his last name. He's going to be really great. I guarantee you. Michigan had t the eleventh and fifteenth pick. Jet uh, Howard, the coach's son, and then uh, I can't think of the other guy's name. But anyway, they got 11 and 15, and yet they were basically a 500 club all year. It just goes to show you that Howard is pretty much a useless coach. I don't know how. Well, I do know how he keeps his job. I don't need to uh, <laughs> uh, uh, talk about it, but, I mean, and, and, and some of the stuff that he does on the court of getting in a fist fight with another coach, so on and so on, I'm telling you, they – I don't think Michigan's going to do much with him as coach. I think they're going to have to get someone else. Uh, there's a lot of ex-players that could do a better job. But, yeah, Brandon, uh, darn. What is his? I keep forgetting his name. Wait a minute. I'll tell you. Uh, Brandon Miller, yeah. I couldn't think of Miller. He's good. He is good at the potential. His potential is phenomenal. I mean, is he going to be a Jordan? Maybe not. A Dr. J, I doubt it. But he's going to be a really good player in the league. And uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other notes if anybody stood out. Houston, I think, had two in the top 15. They got two in. Sasser, I think, went about 15th. I think he went about 15th, which really – I. I thought he was a better player than the other player on Houston that went higher. I think one went uh, 14th, I think. Yeah, no. He went 14th or 15th, and the other guy went higher. I think he might have went 8th. Anyway, I can't believe that Sasser didn't go higher unless it, unless they think he's injury prone. I can't believe he didn't go higher than the other player from Houston. So, anyway, it goes to show you that you can have two top 15 play, team players and start on your team in college and you can't do nothing with them. So, anyway, I'm going to end it. I just thought I'd give that update on the draft. Uh, maybe, maybe Davis should have gone back and maybe played one more year at IU. He had a one year of eligibility left. Maybe now he wishes he did. There's a couple players I bet you that wish that they would have gone, uh, probably come on back because they just did not do well in it. Uh, one of the Kentucky players, he went 40th, no, 58th. He went last, I think the last of the first two rounds, 58th. I bet you he wishes he would have come back now. So, anyway, that's the draft update for 2023. And we'll see what happens now uh, this next college year for Indiana. We'll see what they do. I think they're going to have a great team. I think they're going to finish, if I get my standings right now preseason, I think Michigan State will win the league with Indiana a close second, probably a game a game back. And I think Purdue will probably be a game back of Indiana. And people say, well, wait a minute, Purdue's got everybody back. They've got some extra, they've got some better players. They've got the big dude inside. They figured him out. Purdue was figured out. Down the stretch, by the time the Big Ten tournament got there, and then when you figure in uh, the the college tournament, 
they figured them out. I knew Purdue wasn't going to go very far, and I don't think they're going to do near as well next year because I think the team has figured out how to – they know the, how they have to play them. And I, I just don't think Purdue will do as well as everybody's thinking. Purdue thinks they're going – everybody thinks Purdue's going to win by, you know, three or four games in the league. I, I don't see that. I don't think Purdue will do near as well this year as everybody's thinking. Well, that's it. Um. Keep st stacking in the packing because it's what we have to do. And stay tuned for more videos later.